Okay, in the last tutorial, we talked about automation. Now, in, if you've been following all of the tutorials, you see that we went through a lot of the basic steps of how to create some kind of basic song. We've been doing an impulse song because that's the uh, assignment that the, the guys have. Um, so once, once you're all done, you're happy with it, you've recorded everything into the arrange, you've done your automation, you've checked off your checklist and uh, looked at your rubric and made sure you included everything, then you want to be in the arrange page, okay? Because we're going to export this song outside of Ableton so that we can you know, put it on a CD or make an MP3, which is, uh, we're actually gonna be making an MP3 so you can submit it to me. Um, so what we need to do is uh, click up here, you're gonna see these two arrows, it's kind of a loop uh, point um, thing here. So uh, we're gonna click on the arrow at the beginning, drag it to the beginning of the song, and then click on the other one and go to the end of the song. Now it looks like the song ends here, but you notice if we play it, that there's some effects that sort of ring through. Uh, okay, so the song kind of dies down around here. It's always better to give us a little extra uh, space at the end because we can delete it later on um, if we have a little too much silence at the end. Um, so now we've highlighted, uh, this goes from the very beginning of the song to the very end. So we can go up to the file menu and export audio video. When we go there, it's gonna give us a number of options. And if we just hit okay, we should be good because if I look down here, it says uh, from bar one to bar 35, okay? Um, unless you've gone in here and changed something for, for another reason, we can, if we go up to render track, you can choose just to bounce down individual tracks, but we want the whole song, so we're gonna go to the master. If you do all tracks, then it's gonna give you an audio file for every single audio track that you have, which is not what we want. We want the master channel. Normalize will will take your song, and if it's a little quiet, it's gonna bring it as loud as it uh, can be without compressing it. Uh, so it's just going to raise up the volume until it gets to to the roof, okay? Um, render as loop. We don't want to worry about that. File type. Um, it's either going to be WAV or AIF, uh, F, and it's not. It doesn't really matter either. Uh, if you're on PC, it'll probably be set to WAV. They're both uncompressed audio formats, okay? Um, and uh, that, that's the file you would use if you were gonna burn uh, a CD. And we're gonna use that file to create an MP3 later, okay? You don't need to worry about any of this other stuff. Um, we just hit okay and we tell it what we wanna call it. So uh, I'm gonna go to the desktop and uh, I already tried this uh, and I called it test erase. Um, so I'm, you can call it whatever you want. Uh, anyways, test erase. <laughs> uh, and then hit save, okay? Once you do that, it's going to render the audio to disk. So what it's doing is it's creating that AIF or WAV file. And it's also creating another file called an ASD file, which is an analysis file that um, Ableton likes to create whenever it's exporting something or whenever you've imported a piece of audio into it. Um, that's that's gonna be useless to us and we wanna ignore that. And if we try and open that, uh, you're gonna find that it's, it's just a pile of noise. Uh, it'll be a short, second or two, and I'll show you that once we open it in uh, Audacity, which is the program we need to bring it in. So uh, there's that analysis file. So when I minimize this, I'm gonna look on my desktop and you'll see that there's two files. There's um, the AIF file that I created, the uncompressed audio file, and then there is this uh, AIF.ASD file. Now, if you're in Windows, sometimes they'll look exactly the same. It's hard to tell the difference uh, because it might not show the, the .AIF. Part. And if you hold your mouse over top of it, then uh, it should, uh, actually let's go over to parallels because I brought it in here. You're gonna notice, well, these, these look a little bit different, but it depends on how uh, your, um, <laughs> hate windows, um, no, set up later. Um, I forget what I was saying. Anyways, hold your mouse over it and you'll see that this one's 11.4 megs and this one is gonna be really, really small. So if you can't tell the difference, that's the best way. Okay, we wanna open up Audacity um, and we wanna open up the, well, the one file in there. I'll show you what happens if we open up uh, this one, okay? Uh, which is the ASD file. It looks like something's there, but uh, close your ears. Yeah, it's, a, it's just a, 
compiler noise. Okay, so we don't want that. We want to open the other one. So I'll go file, open, and test erase. Okay. Um, and if I play it, then it's my uh, song that came straight out of Ableton. Okay. Um, and you're gonna see it has a left channel and a right channel. So left speaker, right speaker. And I have a bit of extra silence at the end. So if I want to get rid of some of that, I can highlight it and just hit backspace and it will delete that. So I'm happy with it. I'm ready to turn it into an MP3. So I need to go to the file menu, go export as MP3, and it's gonna ask me where I wanna save it. Um, so you want to refer to the sheet that I gave you on how to name it and tag it. And to the best of my memory, I wanted you to call it uh, your first and last name, space hyphen space um, drum exercise. And please use the same capitals as me um, and spacing. So we do that and we hit save. And it's going to say... Uh, if you've done this for the very first time, it says you need to uh, install the encoder, okay? So would you like to locate it now? Now I've emailed that to all of you and we did this in class. Um, now, of course, I probably don't have it. Um, let's see, I may, I may fade to black and come back if, uh, if I don't have it. Okay, so, so I'm back, so I'll try that again. I will go export as MP3, Adam Hodgins, uh, drum exercise. Okay, so it's only gonna ask you to do this the very first time that you ever try and create an MP3. Um, so it's gonna ask you to find this lame underscore enc.dll file. Now I emailed that to all the guys in my class. Um, if you don't have it, you can do a search for lame audacity and it's gonna give you a download page to, to find this file, okay? and it'll. It'll give you a couple of ways you can you can install this. I downloaded the zip file and it, and it was in there. And you just put it anywhere on your computer uh, and then you need to find it. So you click yes, um, I find it. So there it is and I hit open, okay? And then as soon as I do that, now I can create an MP3 and I never have to go through that process again. Uh, anytime you create an MP3, it's gonna ask you to tag your file, okay? So it's gonna ask you uh, a few things. So artist uh, is your name. Okay, um, the album is grade eight drums, if you're in grade eight, and if you're in grade seven, grade seven drums, okay? Um, and the title is drum exercise. Okay, if you tag that correctly with the same capitalization and spacing, then when I throw them into iTunes uh, to take a look at them, then they're all going to line up uh, very, very nicely. Um, and I can find yours immediately. Okay, if you decide that you're going to put that together or you're going to make this. Um, actually, I guess it's, it's more important with the album, but um, anyways, name it correctly. Uh, you can enter the year if you want. Don't worry uh, about track number. Leave it out. Um, you can pick a genre if you think uh, you, made, you made a disco track or a country track or whatever. Uh, and if you want to write me a little message, go ahead. Um, don't, don't worry about this. Just go with whatever the default is more flexible is, is probably, uh, well, whatever. Um, I'm opening them into iTunes and iTunes can, can read those no problem. So we hit okay. And then it's going to create an MP3. Okay. And once that's done, I'm going to minimize this and look at my desktop, uh, because that's where I saved it. And you'll see that there's my MP3. It's named nicely and uh, tells me that it's only a megabyte. So it's not too big, uh, just the right size to, to, to send me in an email because uh, you notice that it's compressed it quite a bit. So that's only one megabyte, but if you sent me the uncompressed file, it's 11 megabytes. Um, and this little test song I made is, is about a minute. So um, in any case, that is how you do that.